in this session we are going to see about data types in javascript how many types of data types are present in javascript and what are those data types let us get started with this one now before understanding how many types of data type let's see what is data type whatever variables we create in that variables we will be assigning some values okay basically that values what it contains we are going to see in that okay in variables we were studying about this okay when we were learning about this variable where x and about this particular variable we were learning okay it is let it is let variable const variable or var but now whatever value is assigned to this one here about this value we are going to study in this section what data type this value holds now basically there are only two types of data types in javascript most people get confused with this one but there are only two types of data types in javascript first is primitive data type and the second is non primitive data type it is also called as reference data type now inside this primitive data type we have seven types of data types we have strings we have symbol okay symbol was introduced in es6 we have boolean we have big int we have undefined we have number and we have null okay this symbol and this big int we will be studying this in later sessions but these are the seven primitive data types present in javascript now it is very difficult to remember all these seven data types okay if you are aware of this soap in hindi for soap we called as sabun okay you can just remember this word and from s we have this string and we have this symbol a you can just ignore as of now for b we have boolean and big int for u we have undefined and for n we have number and null okay once if you just uh, understand this word and if you just try to recognize at least five of them then it will be very easy for you okay s s b b u n n string symbol boolean big int undefined number and null Okay, these are the seven primitive data types that are present in JavaScript. Now, coming to non-primitive data types, we have objects, we have arrays, we have functions, and we have date. The so non-primitive data type is also called as reference data type. Now, we are going to see some of the examples of this so that we will understand this in more better way. And using examples. we will understand what actually data type is now here i have just opened my vs code editor i have created one file data.js now inside index.html i have already linked this one okay inside this folder i have just created this data.js now first see about primitive data type here i'll be writing okay for comments we will be writing this double slash primitive data types first let's come to string string is nothing but it is a word let me just write here let okay we have already seen about let var and const in our previous sessions i will write here my name is equal to khan okay in previous session we were only focusing on this variable whether it is a var or let or const variable now for data type we are just going to focus on this value which value it is what it is considering okay what it is telling so now if i just write this one if i wrap this word inside single quotes or double quotes it means it is a string now i'll just come here i'll be writing console.log and inside this let me just write here my name i will save this now i got khanam now i just want to find the type of this word 
so we are having one more thing console dot log inside this i will be writing type of okay using this we can find the type of this variable now as soon as i save this one the type of this variable is string string can either be enclosed in single quotes or they can enclosed in double quotes okay both are strings strings is also a very huge topic strings we are going to study in next sessions we are having string methods how to reverse a string how to count the strings everything we are going to see in next sessions okay this is the basic example of string now let's see about numbers number is nothing but basically a simple number i will write here let my num inside this i will be writing 12 same thing i'm just going to copy i will paste here now here i'll be writing my num inside this also i'm just going to paste that one i will save this now you can see the type of number is number type of string is string type of number is number and the value i got is 12 so this is about numbers next let understand about boolean boolean is true or false okay zeros and ones like if i just tell if you know coding the answer will be yes or no so basically boolean is that either yes or no let uh, is cooking is equal to true okay i am just assuming you know cooking so i'll copy this one and here i'll be pasting that and inside this i will paste this cooking and here also i'll paste i will save you can see for cooking the value is 3 and type of cooking is boolean next we have begin and symbol we are going to see in later session symbol is nothing but it is the value which we assign to that one we cannot change it is immutable and each and every value will be unique that was introduced in es6 that is a kind of important and also begin we are going to see in next sessions and more deeply we are going to study about strings arrays and everything so in this session i am just going through the basic examples so that you will understand what this data type actually means next we have null let me just write here null null is nothing but it is not having any value so if i just write here let uh data is equal to null okay i just have to write in smaller letters and inside this i'm just going to copy the same thing i will copy here i'll be pasting data paste and paste i will save you can see value is null and if you notice here type of data type is object but object is non primitive data type but inside primitive data type null we are getting the type of this as object okay you should not get confused with this one type of null is object but value it 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 simply means that we do not have any value and maybe in future also we will not give any value to it so it is null later in our interviews question section we are going to understand this particular thing why the data type of null is object now next is undefined undefined we have already seen plenty of times if we have created variable and if no value is assigned then by default the value will be undefined let uh, my student that's it i am just going to write here my student i will copy and here i'm going to paste copy this paste and paste i will save this you can see by default if i have not assigned any value and i am printing this one then i will get the value as undefined and the type of this undefined is nothing but undefined okay, so we have seen strings strings data type will be string numbers data type will be numbers boolean data type will be boolean but null data type will be object that we are going to see later and undefined data type will be undefined symbol and begin we are going to see in next sessions i have just shown you 
five different primitive data types. Now let's come to non-primitive data types. Now inside this we have arrays. Let me just create one array. I will be writing here colors. Okay, now this you don't have to worry much. What is arrays? What values are stored inside this one? How we are going to calculate this one? Everything you don't have to worry. Arrays, objects, strings. That is the concept in itself. Okay, that we are going to study later. Now inside this arrays, let me just write here 2, 3, you can also pass any value. I can just write here khanam. I can give strings. I can give boolean. I will be writing here through. Any value. Okay. Inside one basket, I am having fruits. I am having vegetables. I am having all the things. So, in the same way, arrays can hold different data. It can hold numbers. It can hold strings. It can hold boolean values. Everything. Whatever we give inside the array that will be able to hold that particular value. Now I am just going to print this one. I will copy. I will paste. Colors. 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 I will save this. Now you can see. Array. Inside this array I am having four data. 2, 3, Khanam and True. This is nothing but this is the index number. Okay. You don't have to worry about this. Arrays is a concept in itself. We are going to see arrays, arrays methods and everything. So when I give type of array, you can see I got this object. For null also I got this data type as object. For arrays also I am getting the same thing. Okay, these are the simple things you have to know. And once you understand why we are getting this, then definitely you will be able to answer these in your interview questions. So for that I decided to keep this to keep a separate interview question section and inside that I will be telling you these basic things so that you will remember it whenever you give your interviews. Now let me just comment here arrays. Now below this I am just going to write here objects. Let me just write one example. Let and inside this we will be giving here marks. Marks and for objects we will be using this flower braces. For arrays we use this square brackets. Now inside this I will be writing my name Khanam. Khanam has scored 50 marks. Then I will be writing here Sanya. Sanya has stored um, 40 marks. Okay for arrays you can see here I am getting error because we should not close this using semicolon. We should write here comma. Again, I will be writing here comma. I will be writing here Seema. Seema has got 30 marks. Okay, now I am just going to print this one. I will copy. I will paste this one. Copy, paste and paste. I will save this. Now you can see inside this I have got this value. Hanam got 50, Sanya got 40 and Seema got 30 and data type of object will be object. Now suppose here I cannot give the space. I cannot give the space. I will be getting error. If I save this one, I will be getting I am. Unexpected identifier I am. Inside this object, this is called as key and this is called as value. So if I just want to give any space, then I can just wrap inside single quotes or double quotes here. Now if I save this one, I will be getting this output. You can see this is my result. And type of object will be object. Function is also a non-primitive data type. Function as I told you, it is a very huge topic. We should learn more about functions, how to declare functions, how to call functions, everything there is there. So now let's see about date. Now let me just create one date. Date uh, dates. I will just write here dates is equal to new date. Inside this, I'm just going to see the type of the date. Copy, paste, save this. Now type of date is also an object. We have seen what are seven primitive data types and what are non-primitive data types. 
we are going to study more deeply about each and every topic next we are going to study about strings arrays objects and everything later on you will be more and more satisfied with whatever you have learned in this data types okay, let me just show you okay, it is nothing but specifies it specifies which type of value is stored inside the variable there are only basically two types of data types primitive and non primitive data types inside primitive we have seven data types string symbol boolean begin undefined number and null you just have to remember the word sabun and using that you just have to remember all these seven words non primitive data type object arrays functions and date functions symbol and begin we are going to study in next sessions and arrays objects strings and everything we are going to study more deeply inside these topics okay that's all for this session next session we are going to continue this part and we are going to understand more about these data types